Hello, a very wonderful good afternoon, everybody. It is Brian here, your favorite YouTube host of <clears throat> This is What Brian Thinks Adventures. Good afternoon and early good evening, everybody. Season's greetings, everyone. I just thought I would like to provide a end of year in review update to talk about some of the amazing things that I accomplished during this last year of 2022. And for those of you who would like to know is that I just wanted to give you all a heads up is please stay tuned as when I do the last day of 2022 update closing to 2022. Um, so that's going to be on the YouTube channel of this New Year's Eve. Now the reason I wanted to make this special announcement um, end of year and review update is that I want to talk about some of the uh, positive things that I have accomplished over the past year. So over the past year, I have accomplished a lot of things before and after I got my job with the Loblaw City Market in Ice District part-time. And before as well as after, I started bowling for Special Olympics in, uh, <clears throat> in the middle of October of this fall, uh, two months ago. Almost feels like three months now. So a lot of positive things happened. And for those of you who would like to know, two days ago, Special Olympics Bowling at Bonnie Doon Bowling Lanes had an ugly sweater Christmas party. And I would also want to announce everyone is that my friends, Blake, Andrew, and me, and I, you might say, we did... um. We, uh, we did a bingo, and also I wanted to give you all a heads up is that I scored 146 points as well as 95 points to a total of 241 points, closer to my average of 243 points than I had at the end of two months ago this past October, almost coming up three months. Uh, it'll be in the new year. In fact... For those of you who would like to know is that this Thursday, on my next day off work, my mom and I are going to stop over by Bonnie Dune Bowling Lanes to pick out my very own bowling balls that I'm going to be using for Special Olympics Bowling after, after two weeks after Christmas Day and after New Year's Day after the winter break on Sunday, January 8th at the beginning of this January, the first Sunday, January 8th, first week after the winter break. So I'm very excited to hear that too. And those of you who would like to know is that I have been exploring the new bus route, the new 73 Millwoods, new 73 downtown rapid express bus routes of 73A Millwoods via 95th Avenue. 73B downtown via 98th Avenue, 73B Millwoods via 98th Avenue, as well as 73A downtown via 95th Avenue. Very nice Rapid Express bus routes. And for those of you who would like to know is that I'm very excited about Christmas coming up. In fact, Christmas Eve, less than five days from today, I'm going to be saying Merry Christmas Eve to each and every one of you. On this Christmas Eve, this Saturday, in four days from today. So I hope you all will still still stay tuned for that as well. And those of you who would like to know is that I'm also going to be saying Merry Christmas on Christmas Day, Sunday morning, December 25th. So I will say Merry Christmas to each and every one of you as well. And also, after the Christmas weekend and after Boxing Day, I will provide... Um, final week of December 2022 update and on New Year's Eve Saturday December 31st um, after the Christmas Eve Christmas Day and Boxing Day weekend I'm going to say Happy New Year's Eve to each and every one of you on the first YouTube video so I'll say Happy New Year's Eve December 31st 2022 and also I will provide a Closing to 2000, closing 2022 update as part of this New Year's Eve between um, the day before New Year's Eve, December 30th. That uh, will come to live on 
Saturday, December 31st, and New Year's Eve. So I will say New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2022, part of the closing of the 2022 update as well. So please stay tuned for that as well, everyone. And for those of you who would like to know is that this past uh, year has been amazing as well. You know, like there has been a lot of positive changes. What has very well happened with me is that I started my job with Loblaw City Market at the end of September and the beginning of October. I was, um, I got hired for ICE District. So really changed my life too. In fact, I have been working hard there since the beginning. And for those of you who would like to know is that um, I started as a cashier self checkout attendant. And now I'm working in the grocery department part time while I'm still focusing on my school part time and Special Olympics bowling part time. And two months ago in October, I recently started attending Soundwave at World Water Park again for St. John, as well as some um, Stevie Oki at Soundwave World Water Park at West Edmonton Mall in November of last month. In fact, for those of you who would like to know, is that I'm also going to be attending Soundwave this year in 2023 as well as the following next year, 2024, 2025, 2026 beyond, since I'm also um, wanting, to each, wanting to let each and every one of you know is that I am finding a girlfriend who loves attending raves, who has a job, goes to school um, in post-secondary part-time, as well as um, loving meeting, meeting people in, in a public place, at raves, nightclubs, uh, Church of John, Union Hall, Soundwave at World Water Park at West Edmonton Mall, as well as being around people the way I do and respect. Now, aside from all this, you know, like this past year, even though it was very struggling, it took me months for me to get my job issue situated, but you know what? Once I got my job with Loblaw City Market between the end of September and the beginning of October, I started getting things turning around too. I'm also in the process on getting my schooling focused on at the after Christmas, um, three weeks from the Christmas weekend in January, uh, from the final weekend of this December. So three weeks from Christmas and New Year's. I'm from this month of December come January next month of 2023. I will be focusing on Adobe Photoshop Level 1 this January of next month, and then later on at the beginning of February in the middle of this winter, I will be focusing on Illustrator Adobe Level 1. And aside from all this, later on this, um, this winter, between the end of this February, Saturday, February 25th, as well as the first two Saturdays at the beginning of early March, later on this the last couple of weeks of this winter before the spring draws near as well. I will be in Adobe InDesign Level 1, so this is very exciting news. In fact, I'm also going to be investigating other courses that I'm interested in taking for school sometime around the middle of March as well as um, close to the beginning of April or May or closer to the end of May before June, a few weeks before the summer break goes on between July and August. But for those of you who would like to know is that my mom and I do have a plan well ahead of us for me to go back to school at the end of summer holidays next next fall, next September, next September 2023, at the end of summer holidays for the 2023-2024 semester, as well as the 2024-25 semester, 2025-26 semester, and who knows, 2026-27 semester as well. So I hope you all can stay tuned for that too. For those of you who would like to know is that... Uh, I have reached a big milestone on my YouTube upload so far. In fact, I've been checking out the new ETS buses, ETS 2022 Proterra Battery Catalyst, the electric 40-foot low-floor potato bus units of the new 8040 and 59 series, as well as the new ETS bus 2022 New Flyer Excelsior 40-foot low-floor bus units of the new 7200 series as well, from 7202 and 7218 series, 
and I'm looking forward to checking out more as well sometime either before or after the start of the new year. So there's a lot of possibilities as well. And those of you who would like to know, um, before I go, here's some very positive news what's going to go on. My mom, my stepdad, and I, we're going to be going to OJ and Caroline and my step-cousin Jonah's place for Christmas Day dinner this Sunday, Christmas Day. And on Boxing Day, we're going to, in the evening, we're going to go to my Aunt Jackie's for Boxing Day dinner as well. So lots of positive things is really happening as well. We're going to coordinate that too and make sure I can work that around my work as well. And for those of you who would like to know is that please stay tuned to hear me say Happy New Year on New Year's Day, Sunday, January 1st, the first day of 2023, less than two weeks from now. So I will say that the week after Christmas is over. So YouTubers, I really want to say have yourselves a good night. Thank you for hearing me talking about end of year review update, December 20th of 2022. Have a safe night.